Let's take a look at one of our weather graphics here, kind of showing you how the monsoon sets up. Uh, the monsoon is a change, like we said, in, in, in wind direction. When you go from usually this west to east weather pattern that draws and dries air in New Mexico, but the monsoon marks when we get that change in wind direction. That's when we can really say that the monsoon has begun. The ideal pattern setup is you have this high pressure system off to the east of New Mexico and a low pressure system off to the west of us. Those two work together to draw up that moisture into New Mexico. Mexico, and that moisture is the key ingredient to bring us showers and thunderstorms sometimes on a daily basis. Um, but there's a few things that really drive the monsoon. You need those hotter temperatures. This is the reason we see the monsoon develop in the summers because you get that heating of the landmass and it creates that area of high pressure, which we saw as one of the main ingredients for the monsoon to draw up that moisture. You also need a, a low pressure system over the desert Southwest, like we saw in that graphic there to funnel that moisture up. And then that high pressure system um, continues to shift northward and northward and can bring that moisture all the way up into places like Utah and Colorado. If we take a look at another one of our weather graphics we've put together, it shows where the monsoon usually begins and sets up based on the time of the year. So it's usually early to mid-June that we start to see the moisture increase down across Mexico. And then by mid to late June, that moisture starts creeping farther and farther northward. And then eventually, once we get into early to mid-July, that's when that monsoon moisture starts moving into, into New Mexico and then into parts of Arizona. And you can see sometimes as well, even into parts of Utah and, uh, and Colorado. Um, so usually, you know, we can get the monsoon to start right in the middle of June. Sometimes you can get the monsoon to continue even past September, but it's usually around that July period that the monsoon really starts settling into New Mexico. Um, and then a little bit of statistics. Back in 2006, it was the wettest monsoon that we have seen mm -hmm. here in Albuquerque, getting up to 9.42 inches. Um, but then just a few years before that, in 2003, we saw the driest with only 1.46 inches during the entire monsoon season. Yeah, uh, it can vary a lot from extremely dry to extremely wet. And even last year uh, was actually one of the driest monsoon seasons on record in Albuquerque, despite a really strong start. And that average rainfall can vary quite a bit depending on where you are in the state. So this is a look at average rainfall for a few different places across New Mexico. Now, you'll notice that June total is a lot lower. A couple reasons for that, because... You know, we talked earlier about how the monsoon really kicks into high gear in July. But here we're also only looking at the second half of June average rainfall. So that's why it's going to be a lot lower than the others. So for Albuquerque, we usually get about four and a half inches of rainfall out of the monsoon every year. So that's the middle of June through the end of September. Um, and that's almost exactly half of our average yearly rainfall here in Albuquerque 